to actually time the gap. Now there is the SL63 AMG. It's got torque 800. It's a 410 kilowatt output. It's a 5.5 litre bike turbo. I got to drive it a couple of days ago. I'm very jealous. And Mick Dewan had a crack at me for driving like I was going to shops. 410 kilowatts. That's almost V8 supercar power. I know, and this is a car, literally, they just pulled the Redro label off. I think Mick Dewan unscrewed the Redro label off, and uh, he drives it like he stole, stole it. And it's it's such an impressive bit of kit for what is a road car. And he's been going around pretty quick. I think the only difference between uh, going a little bit quicker than the V8 supercar is probably the fact that it's on Road, road tyres, not proper racing tyres. So 16.8 seconds separating the first two cars, and you'll see the speed comparison here too, so that will keep you up to date as to whether or not that V8 supercar can bridge a gap to the Mercedes, and whether again the Formula 1 car can bridge the gap. So the biggest difference in speed, I guess, between the V8 supercar and the Formula 1, for example, is the, the, the power and the weight, So, and the aerodynamics on the Formula 1 car is staggering. It's got so much more grip and corner speed through all the slower corners, and that's where it really will catch that car of Casey Stoner, but the peak speeds as well. The, the peak speed of the Formula One car is nearing 285, 290 kilometres an hour. Casey Stoner a lot closer to 265 k's, and Mick Doohan would be around about 250 kilometres an hour. 23.9 seconds was the gap between the V8 uh, car and also then the F1 car. So I wanted to ask you as well, in terms of when we see the, the, the F1 car making up the speed, where is the ability for an F1 car to make up the speed? Is it the acceleration out of the corners? Is it just the, the, the sheer pace of the car? Yeah, it's a combination of everything. I mean, the V8 supercar has 600 horsepower. It's got a lot of speed, but it's nearly, you know, over a ton in weight. So getting that car around the corners is not as easy as a Formula 1 car. It's got a lot of aerodynamics. It's very light. So the corner speeds, entry, mid-corner and exit speed is superior to that of the V8 supercar. So there's Mick Dewan out of that fast chicane around the back of the circuit. So many great scenes there over the years at Albert Park. There's Casey Stoner, so you can see the gap closing in. The Red Bull Racer, this is the car that he runs in the Dunlop V8 Supercar Series, the second tier V8s, had his debut two weeks ago on the streets of Adelaide. You caught up with him yesterday, great chat by the way. And looking pretty relaxed, Mick having a oh. moment, Mick corner there. And don't believe for a second that Mick Doohan is not trying hard because he is. And David Coulthard not yet in sight, guys, so he's not even in the screen. Oh, there he comes. This, this is quite a funny experience when you're driving that bad supercar. The Formula One car looks like a bee or a wasp in your mirrors, and then all of a sudden it comes howling up behind you, and this sets up to be a great finish. Have a look at this. This will be really close, in fact, but David Coulthard will just get there. The three cars across the line covered by three tenths of a second. So the handicapping is bang on. And between Mick Doohan, who...